Hey, Daddy Fritz. Yeah, it's, How it's you a pleasure, brother? Yeah, I do. It's a pleasure of being on your show tonight. And um, um, like for me as a person, I'm just going to speak for myself. Um, I, I was born in a very, very, when I say very deep, deep religion, when I say deeper life, you know what I mean. Mm. And um, for me, I, I learned to know Christ myself, mm. you know. And I always tell people what pastors have showed me. Some of them I've been watching his life right now, some of those pastors. Um, the Shaggy, they've showed me, you know, they've showed me Shaggy Bansa, you know, and um, I'm going to say one of those um, Shaggy they've showed me. Um, when I when I got into the U.S. and um, I was trying to say, okay, well, the the best thing for me was to look for a woman, and uh, and that's why I always say something. A lot of women are leaving their life based on Prophet my pap my papa say. You know, I'll I'll speak about one pastor I met, and when I met this pastor, I realized it was just, just fake, you know. And when I met him, um, through a pastor in Nigeria, who referred me to him, and he said, "Oh, he has a spiritual, he has a daughter." I even thought it was a biological daughter, you know. They live, most of these freak pastors in Houston, you know. Ah, and they say, "Oh, uh, tell me your spiritual journey." So I told him, I said, oh, I give my life to da 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 And he said, okay, I will have to go and pray to seek God's face first before I give you my daughter. <laughs> and then um, I later, after the whole thing, the third day he came back and said, okay, this is the number of the girl. Well, I didn't call the girl. He said, call the girl. I said, you should call her. So when I called her, this same pastor asked me that, okay, well, you know what? Um... Um, you guys can talk. I never knew that most of the conversation me and this girl had, the pastor on the phone, maybe he tapped the girl's number and then he listened to all the conversation we were having. To cut the long story short, it was time for me to go and see the girl in Houston from New Jersey. I used to live in New Jersey at that time. And then I went to New Jersey to see the girl. And so when I got to the hotel, the girl was so excited that she wanted to come and see me. And lo and behold, at the time, the girl told me that Papa was the one that came to install the camera in the house. You know what I mean? The CCTV camera. Came to install CCTV camera in the house. So, unfortunately for me, the girl wanted me to come to the house. And I entered the house. Papa saw me on the camera. This is mm. his own biological daughter. This is my, my, my daughter in the Lord. My so-called daughter in the Lord. And then Papa just called me. Are you crazy? What are you doing in my daughter's house? Are you are you crazy? Leave there right now. <sighs> For me, I understand the place of pastor. And then I left there. And then the next morning he called me and said, Never in your life talk to her again. And then he asked me to come to his office. This is where I'm going to. He asked me to come to his office. What's this pastor's I, name? <laughs> I'll tell you. And then, wait, you, know, you know what he said to me? <laughs> and then he said to me, he said, if it is not that he has gone to check my destiny, in Yoruba means that can you put you a, 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 a kosejai, kos that's what he means. Sejai, yeah. You know, I wouldn't have allowed you. Do you know the kind of drive car she's driving? She's driving a Benz so 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 series of the year. Ah, looking like it, it 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 struck me with with walls that day I was crying. Why would you be so I want a jean? Like for me, I'm a young person, I want a jean and a, and, and, and a sneaker. And then the next thing he said to me was just like, Why would you be dressed? This is not heavenly dressing. And he said, Ah, he said, Sir, maybe there's another dress in the dress in the heaven that I don't know. Means I like this. I could go tell and walk, I know go better for you your papa or your mom. And but said, I won't get locked in America. And it's like, Nigeria oh, now. Nah, no, 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 people are crazy. People are calling me here. And he said, all the way you, you came, all the way you tried, you just to come and see my daughter. And I said, Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. And then he said, give me rules and regulation. Number one, no kissing, no holding, no holding of hands, no pecking, no staying in the, in the private place together. And I said, okay, Daddy. And I left. And then every time me and the girl are together, maybe we're having this conversation. You always call, what are you guys doing together? What are you doing? It's time for you to leave him now. Don't give him too much of attention. That one went back. I went there first time, second time, third time. 
The fourth time, this is where I'm running up. The fourth time, this papa knew that I was going to propose to this girl. And then he had never come to my hotel before. He had never been to my hotel. The next thing he did was just like, he now, what did he do? What did he even do? He now, I just knocked, I just heard a knock in my door in the, at the hotel. And I thought it was the room service. Guess who was, the, who was at the door? It was Papa That's in the Lord. Papa in the Lord now knocked at the door. So I saw a blue suit. I saw a blue suit. A blue suit in his hand. Papa had never measured me. He's not a tailor. I will measure to know my kind of suit size. So he brought the suit and he said, wear it. I must be said, don't wear it. Because he knew that I was going to propose to the girl the next day. So he said, wear the suit. And I was looking like, wear the suit, okay? So, in my imagination, I just said, don't let me respect this man. I wore the suit. I fell somehow. Ah. Guess what? The girl that me and her still spoke in the morning, nothing happened to us. We don't have any banter, nothing. The girl came back for what? And she saw me. It was just like when you see Lucifer. And then she was just dragging me. How did you reach here? Who are you? Ah. I thought it was a prank. Who are you? Blah, blah, blah. You know, Pastor just left my hotel some hours ago. We did not have an issue with the pastor. Then I called Papa in the Lord. I don't understand what's wrong with your daughter. Pastor did not pick up my call. One hour, two hours, the girl left. She said, never, I don't want to see you again. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hours. Later at night, I called Papa. The second day, I, called Papa. I almost wanted to commit suicide. I, I just said, you know what? Don't let me. So, I just felt like I was crying, calling my friend. I'm tired. See what Father in the Lord has done to me. So, what's your Sunday, name, Mena? You know, on sorry, Sunday, what's your name, Stephen? Stephen, eh, but what's your handle? Um, my handle should be my it's my brand name, as my handle, but my name is Stephen. Um, yeah. your hand is that is it Mina? No, no, no I'm Mina. Mina, I'm no, the no, Mina. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Uh, so, Irene Communications, is that you? Alarica, Alarica oh. Communications, that's me. Okay, I want to remove thing. everybody else so we can hear you clearly. Okay. okay. So, on Sunday, so sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, on Sunday, I went to his church on I was, okay, let me mention, I went to his church. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, you know, they, used to, they usually come to pick me up at the hotel because I was their guest. Nothing happened. I didn't have any, no issue with the pastor. And then, they didn't come to pick me up on Sunday. I cried, I cried, and you know what the spirit just said, go to the church. So I went to the church, and I got to the church. This man just changed his message. He was, he was using me to preach. So it was time for Holy Communion. The girl, served, the girl is the secretary of the church. Is, hmm. the, is she the secretary, she's everything. The girl was the one paying the, so when we wanted to be contributing money for the marriage, the girl said to me that, you know what she said to me? She said, um we we're contributing money she said ah, we have to pay our tithe from the money that we were contributing mm. oh. and at that time i knew that ah we enter shake the man said even if we're married you know we still have a room in their house ah, you know and another time i looked at you i said with my own spiritual journey i knew that uh, I, I don't enter this one you know and then uh to cut a long story short the girl just saw me, and the girl just fell somehow. You know, she passed in front of me. She didn't serve me Holy Communion, but I collected the Holy Communion, and I just spoke to God. I left the church that day. As I was stepping out, one of my friends, you might know him, very he's a popular uh, uh, on-air on personality and MC. Then he called me and said, Stephen, he didn't know where I was, but it was just a coincidence that he was five minutes away from where I was. And then he picked me up. He said, let us go. And then I cried and cried. You know, the pastor did not call me until I left but I didn't go with the, sh the suit. So when I now met one prophetess in Jersey, when I got back to Jersey, guess her. What? Sir, do you know what the prophetess told me? He said, the prophetess did not see me. I, I, she had never seen me. She, never, she just saw me spiritually. And she said, ah. And she said it in Yoruba. Talo be e wukurira woy. I did not. E wukurira ni. You know, I did, did not tell him. I did not tell her anything. He said, "E wukori ra morila e yi." E wukori ra, meaning the garment of hatred. Yes, you know. And I felt like you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So at the end of the day, 
what I saw at the end of the day was just like, I saw even me myself, and the woman just said, do this, do this, three days, don't see the sun, don't see anything, just stay in the room, just pray, read the psalm inside this water, and then when I left, they were the one confessing that it was my wife that said I should do this, it was my wife that said I should do this. They didn't even tell the pastor that they even referred me to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, okay. when you now see this same narrative, I, I had a counter like three times of pastors who have done the same thing. If I tell you what, see, I, I'm a deep person. Like I said, my spiritual upbringing was in deeper life. Huh. You know, this is the first time I'm saying this. My dad is a top pastor in that same church. But for me, I've, get, I've learned to know Christ myself. Ah. That there's nothing, there's no jargons you want to tell me that I want to listen to you right now. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, a lot of people don't know Christ themselves, and then we have too much of fake fallacy pastors out mm -hmm. there. So people you see, eh, that know... pastor, no, be pastor. No, no, that a wukori Every tribe, hold on, let me tell you something. Let me let me go into this. Oh, yeah. There was a day he sat to me that he was giving me Lamba. You know what Lamba is? He said, where you say, you don't know my relationship with God. Where you sat down, um, um, Father Abraham came to see me two days ago. You know, I had a, I had a dinner with Father Abraham. I you drank know, two days ago. Tea with Apostle God. Paul, no, no, no. Apostle Paul came. We took a stroll around my estate. And he was giving me this Lamba. Maybe he thought as much I was, I don't know anything about God. I don't understand. You know, he has risen five dead bodies in Oshobo, and he was just giving me all this lamp. You know me, ah, hey, I was just saying, glory, Papa, glory, Papa. He thought I, I was making fun of him because all the things he was saying to me were not just something that I'm just looking like. You know, I'm not carried away with all those things because I know all those teachings. I know the teaching. You are talking to ghosts. Mm. You understand? Say, so mm. it for you me. See, let me tell you something, yeah. Mm. You dodged a bullet. It's better you cry that time where you cry than the cry where you for, for cry inside marriage. That cry where you cry, eh? Say your friend can't carry you. Mm -hmm. Now the na binting not compared to the cry where you for cry to say you enter this marriage with this crazy girl. You don't know what thing God do for you. Ah, umonto long shifwe. God will know what make you cry for long. Now make you cry that kind of small cry. For your mind, the cry, cry bigger. Be imagine you marry this mad girl. Now let me tell you something. Yeah, there is what you call traditional mysticism. This ewukorira, uh, it is in, it exists in every culture. Among the riverine people. You go, they smell like fish. Mm. As in, they're not going to stand you. You know where fish don't they rotten? Now, so you go, they smell to the, like, for instance, if they do one for you, say, imagine, say, I won't hire you. They can't do one for you. Anytime I see you, go, they smell like fish. I don't know if you walk with you. I don't know if you walk with you. Now, heavy jazz. But you see, there's a principle of jazz that I always tell people. Even demons must, to access you, they need portals. You are more powerful than demons. But people don't know. Once you open your portal, that's when they have power over you. And they will always, the, the man know where they suit for you. He, if you wear the suit for you, you no know, go walk. Mm. What they do is they, they enter your head and get you to wear the suit by yourself. As, as I day like this, if I wear the suit, the same thing will happen to me. Now, jazz. The power you always had was that you for don't drive that man's sins. But God also wanted you to have this experience. So you go take get sense. When you meet a woman that is too deep into church, mm. she get one papa somewhere where they tell her waiting to do with her life. Brother me, one name. <laughs> <Get my right. laughs> you are better off marrying a Babalao's daughter. See her papa naifa 
than many pastors spiritual children and physical biological children if even with mosque once you don't see anybody where they deep inside mosque ah, they must go one particular you see there are muslims who go to pray every friday they want to go and pray but you see those ones where they go one particular mosque mm. where everything that they do now that one particular mosque anything where they want to they get one particular affair run run they will control your life run now many of these biological uh, spiritual daughters are sleeping with their spiritual fathers you go today inside house Oh, Nilenu, are you married now? No, no, no. Oh, Nilenu or Nulie. You go wake up one day. What's your favorite food? Porridge. Okay. So, you know how to make the porridge the way you like it? Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. So, you don't go teach your wife. One day, your pastor will tell you, your wife, say, any yam with the mix with oil now spiritual food so make sure you know they cook out for your house again baba yeah. now so porridge end for your house meanwhile why are they doing all this so that they can be strife because you get the way you go like porridge rich is either you sneak out to go and eat it yeah. or you fight her to cook it for you or you cook it in your house say lie lie you not in my house then you they go out they chop the porridge Make I tell you how the psyche works. Mm -hmm. Then maybe she's praying for a child, she can't get miscarriage, or she can't lose her job. They will say that because you they chop that porridge. Mm -hmm. So any time for the rest of your life where they chop that porridge, your wife will say, eh, that's why we not get our we never get our stay yet. We don't stay here for seven years. Some people stay here for three years, they don't get their pali. Baba, they will control you like remote control without saying anything. I will learn for you. What's your From far away, they could control your life. So the best thing that happened to you, the best thing that happened to you was that this girl not see you marry. You forbid their slave for the rest of your life. Ah. So little, little things like it goes start with the porridge. Before you know it, is your mother alive? Yes, she is. The next thing now they'll say your mother now the biggest problem. See, you get waiting they do for your mama village. Now you see the effect on her. But by, by, by the time they set the whole thing up, the girl will leave you. Now, when mm -hmm. woman leave you for America, she don't say she they go with house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will mess your whole life up. So, my dear brother, just begin thank god wherever you do yeah. just begin thank god if now nah, black american now nah, you see to marry one they marry you don't need mm -hmm. marry niger you better make you marry black, black american we get sense than niger we not we don't decrease any woman you want to marry let them know God. Let them love God. Mm. Let them not be on a dependent drug called God. Mm. Let them know and love God. But once he don't the tongue say, I won't go wash my pant today. No. God say I should not wash my pant on Thursday. Run. Run. When you sit down with a woman, when out of every five words, Ah, God did this. Oh, God did... Run. <laughs> Run. Those ones where they go to church for Sunday, come back house, the end. And the church now like Catholic or Anglican, you feel married those ones. But those ones where they do midweek service, where they go Friday, where they go speak in tongues. <laughs> when they are past for they come, they, go, they must go, they go attend. Whether a man or whether a, one of you that are dating people now, you are fiancé, you <laughs> pass or come from Nigeria, you will leave everything, hang everything, and go and go to that crusade. Mm. 
or conference or whatever it is they are calling run wait till you go see inside that marriage he shake the way you go see inside marriage he passed the ones when nigerians they see under apcu <laughs> Mm. I won't go sleep. I talk to Tiano go take pass like this. God bless you, brother. You Good night. Mm -hmm. This thing where I tell you, here Ramo, run. Mm. Everybody, run. Many of us here went to marry Oyinbo and they are happy. Some people went to marry Black American. They are happy. Run. No, no relocate from Nigeria to go and be living in Nigeria in another part of the world. But you go still in Nigeria. You go still get Nigeria sense. Run. It should, for all of you, it should be a a major red flag. Marry somebody where you understand. You'll be amazed that when you go Latina, uh, black Americans, they will love you better than Nigerians. Nigerians will love you conditionally. I love you, but my papa said, run, run.